Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Where To, where Matthew Mellinger is gonna be showing us a stunning combo unit and what you could get for $5 million on the Gold Coast. Here we are at 2 Fifth Avenue. It is a stunning building and I can't wait to show you inside. My name is Erin Wheelock of the Wheelock Team, powered by Keller Williams, where we help people from all over the globe to purchase here in New York City. And who knows, maybe this beautiful large combo unit is for you. Can't wait to check it out. I am so excited. This is Matthew Mellinger and he is gonna tell us all about the apartment. So thank you so much and where do we start? It's my pleasure. Um, so this apartment was actually two separate apartments. Mm -hmm. uh, they were combined in 2016. It took about a year and a half, cost of about a million dollars. Um, and what you have right now is a three bedroom plus an office plus a den with sweeping east-west exposures in the heart of the Gold Coast on Fifth Avenue. Yeah, and it's a stone's throw away from the park if you don't know that. Um, we're at 2 Fifth Avenue, which is a pretty prestigious building. And as we were talking about, right, it's one of two that are on the park. Exactly. It's one of or two, one of two options. right on the park. And it's the only one, unless you're all the way at the top of a different building, where you have open Western exposures all the way out to New Jersey. So, you know, people are used to sacrificing a view to be on the Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. In this apartment, you don't really have to sacrifice anything. You get the best of every exactly. world. I love it. And so it has, I think, around 350 units in it. Yes, there's 343 apartments okay. split between two towers. We're currently sitting in the bridge. Okay. So it's a middle section of the building that is set back from Fifth Avenue and from McDougal Alley. So you don't get really any road noise at all. Um, the apartment is pin drop quiet. Yeah, I have to say it is absolutely quiet up here. And I actually live on the 27th floor of my building. Just going up does not mean it is quiet. No. Everybody's like, no. oh, you're off the street, it's really quiet. No, I don't know whoever said that, BS, because it's not. But this is actually quiet, um, so that's, that's great. Especially if you're coming here from somewhere else, you may not be used to street traffic noise. So this is an option for, you know, yourself would be really good. So you right. can actually sleep at night. Exactly, and a lot of people associate buildings on Washington Square Park with noise, because as you know, especially in the summer months, it does get very crowded this apartment being towards the middle of the building and set back you basically don't have to deal with any of that unless you want to go outside and enjoy washington square park yeah and one other thing that i feel feel sorry feel like people don't think about is elevators and because you have two separate towers you do have two separate elevator banks right right so you're not competing with everybody in the building for two elevators Right, so you have about 170 apartments per tower with two passenger elevators and one service elevator per tower. But it's also important to note that in this building there is a culture of collecting apartments. So there are a considerable number of combinations, this being one of them. Um, I've seen some apartments in this building with as many as seven apartments in one. So the number of actual units in each tower is considerably less than the 160, 170 number. Yeah, and if somebody combining seven apartments does not tell you that this is an amazing building, I don't know what will. Exactly. <laughs> awesome, so can you take me on a tour? Yeah. Okay. So one thing that not everybody knows, um, when you combine an apartment, sometimes you're able to take over hall space. And they did that here, right? So that's pretty yes. awesome. So we are actually standing in what used to be the hallway on the 12th floor. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this was the combination of a convertible three bedroom and an alcove studio. So we are going to be walking through what was the hallway, but is now a gracious formal entry gallery into the living room, dining room area. So on either side, you have closets. There's closets everywhere in this apartment. This one we refer to as the garage. As you can see, you can literally walk through one side you really and can. On side. <laughs> and then on the other side, you have an in-unit washer dryer, also rare for a most work co-op. The building also has a central laundry room, not that you'll need it. So, But it is so rare and nice to have in, in the unit. Opening up, you have living, dining, plus a den. Um, this has open eastern exposures over the Washington Muse. Morning sunlight is great. The 10 foot ceilings are obviously a huge draw for this particular floor in the mm -hmm. building. And the cove lighting was done to sort of delineate the space while still keeping an open concept floor plan. Yeah, and you really don't get uh, this height of ceiling in a lot of buildings of this no, age. The white brick post work clocks typically are eight, eight and a half feet, maybe nine. Mm -hmm. um, in this building, most of the ceiling heights are a lot lower. 
but there are a few select floors, this being one of them where the ceiling heights top out at 10 feet. So you do get the advantages of a pre-war feel mm -hmm. while in a post-war construction. That's pretty amazing. And I love their accents with the cove lighting. Yeah, it's great. Okay. So we're going to go into the guest wing of the apartment. All the guest bedrooms face west with unobstructed views out over Greenwich Village towards New Jersey. First stop, you have not one but two full baths with a pocket door that can open and close. This allows your guests to use one while anyone living in the back of the apartment, sleeping, studying, what have you, still has access to a full bathroom. That's also great if you are multiple people in a home, right? At a three bedroom, you probably are. Somebody wants to entertain, have guests, and allow other people to sleep, that's great. And also I feel as though now that so many people work from home, it's so nice to be able to separate. If you're working with people maybe in Asia or other time zones and you don't want to wake people up, this is really a nice feature to have. Absolutely. So this is the smaller of the two bathrooms. This is the larger of the two with a deep soaking tub and double sinks. Pedal floor makes me think of Beauty and the Beast. Personally, I've never seen anything like this right? before. I mean, the, the tile work and the fixtures and the finishes are where the bulk of their renovation budget went. Mm -hmm. It's just outstanding. Amazing attention to detail for sure. So we have two guest rooms on this side of the wing. We have... These are my kind of rooms. The orange room, the orange which is pretty really self-explanatory. As you can see, you have these open exposures I was mentioning earlier. Very few buildings have this vantage point in Greenwich Village on the Gold Coast. You can see all the way out to New Jersey. Which and I bet pretty rare. amazing uh, sunsets. Amazing sunsets. And what's sunsets. even better is most of this neighborhood is landmarked, so these views are pretty much protected. And if you're up by the window, you can actually see all the way up north to Hudson Yards, which is pretty cool at night. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Oh, I bet right at night with all the light sun, it must be pretty in here. Yeah. yeah. And because this is the orange room, you have matching orange closets. I mean, if you're gonna go for it, go yeah, for it. Just go all the way. On guest room number two, obviously the pink room. So again, we have the Western exposures, crazy funky rug, very interesting but very aesthetically pleasing interior design, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be complete without a pink walk-in closet. I love this. It just makes me really happy. It's cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I love what the architect and interior designers did in this building. Uh, the architect that did this renovation actually does about 70% of the renovations at 2 Fifth Avenue. Nice. So he knows the building inside and out and really, this really pushed the envelope of what you could do. Um, as I mentioned, there's a few AP combinations in the building. This is the only one that was done in this configuration and the only one with the high ceilings. So I'm going to say something. It's kind of like when you own seven um, units in a building, but if you're using someone that works so much in the building, it's a great way to know that you're going to get good work because they really appreciate their reputation and want it to continue. And you don't always get that in a renovation. So that's awesome that this was done right. Exactly. Yeah. Also very rare in the building because a lot of these combination apartments you'll see are collected over time. So it's kind of obvious where one renovation uh, started yeah. and the other one ended. Mm -hmm. In this particular apartment, again, rare for the building, both of them were bought at the same time, gutted at the same time, and then built, rebuilt at the same time. So you really have a cohesive interior design aesthetic, again, rare for two for them. Mm -hmm. you know? Awesome. Yeah. So moving on. Okay, right, where do we go so next? Bonus feature for this wing, no apartment on the market has it, but this one obviously does. Pass the row of closets and then yet another walk in. You have closets, 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 closets. A staff room. So this can be used yeah. as a actual staff room. There is a trundle bed or sorry, a Murphy bed that folds down. Oh nice, okay. It can also be used as a home office. That Murphy bed can come out really easily and the desk can go in. And again, two huge closets for storage. Um, and your Western exposures continue. This is great. Yeah. I mean, this apartment does not lack any closet space. No. That's amazing. No. And if this is not enough, the building obviously has private storage, mm -hmm. as it should. Um, the amenity package is huge. We can go over that later. But awesome. for now, let's do kitchen. So the kitchen was designed to be closed, which is actually coming in back into fashion right it now. It is, yeah. I'm really excited about that because no one can smell what you're cooking the next day. Anyway, <laughs> so this kitchen is still an eating kitchen, so you have a breakfast bar. Fully, like, fully upgraded appliance suite, wolf range, sub-zero fridge, everything you would expect in an apartment of this caliber, mm -hmm. as well as custom storage everywhere, in addition to a pantry storage right over here where we walk in. You'll also notice two pocket doors that close and open, so if you are just having a casual night in, 
leave them open. If you're entertaining and you mm -hmm. have people in the kitchen cooking, close right up and no one will even know they're there. Yeah, that's great. Right. It also allows it to feel a little bit more open when it has two right. separate doors. And the, again, still with the stonework and the finishes, I've never seen anything like this. This is a Whitney Quartz, which I really, really love. Yeah. Um, and then the cabinetry is obviously all custom, but they kept a very sort of plain, clean, bright, white, timeless design. Mm -hmm. And I think this is not spoken about enough, but the placement of this kitchen by the entranceway is so important. When you're bringing in groceries or you have somebody delivering the groceries, a caterer bringing in things for the night, having the convenience of it being right next to the kitchen is so amazing. Then having to, you know, lug some bags or having a delivery person bringing bags through your whole home. This Dude, is really nice. I never even thought of that. And what I like even more is a lot of times with apartments downtown, especially for lofts, when you walk into the apartment, you walk right into the kitchen. Yeah. This apartment has sort of a dedicated entry foyer and then there's a door. Mm -hmm. So you don't, it's not the first thing you see when you walk in, it's sort of like build suspense as you walk into the foyer and then mm -hmm. it branches out, yeah. which you love. So yes. on to the primary suite. Yes. So nice. for the primary suite, it is literally the size of an alcove studio because it was an alcove studio. <laughs> so you have a king size bedroom, a giant walk-in dressing salon, as well as a four fixture marble bath with radiant heated floors and motion sensor lighting, all in this nice little five-ish, 600 square foot package. If you wanna take a look. Yeah. So probably my favorite room of the house this closet. I mean, who doesn't love a closet? Sorry, I well, just I get so excited. Guess who stuff went where, but I guarantee right. you, if this were Aaron's closet, she'd probably have most All of, of her it. stuff in here. Um, I actually have to say my first apartment in New York City was seven by 14, and this feels like my first apartment. <laughs> if this just went back to here, I'm like, oh, this is so familiar. <laughs> so moving on, yeah. we have the marble bathroom. So this is a four fixture bath, built in storage, again with the pocket doors for privacy. You also have radiant heated floors as I mentioned, and these lights are dynamic. So you never have to turn on light when you're getting up in the middle of the night. There are also LEDs hidden throughout the entire apartment, so at night the whole place glows. It's amazing. You know, that's something that I feel like people don't appreciate enough, is getting up and going to use the restroom if that has to happen. You're turning on a light, fluorescence, takes you 20 minutes to try to go back to bed afterwards. It's just such a nice, simple and easy feature that I, I think we need to appreciate yeah, more. I think they don't do enough of that and they yeah. don't do enough radiant heated floors in New York City. I know in the yep. suburbs it's a big thing, but to see it in New York City and then something that's not a new development mm -hmm. is incredibly rare and mm -hmm. very smart design choices. Yeah, and also this is so great because you're not gonna get this size typically in new development. In new development, they're like, can I fit three bedrooms and 1400 square feet? They do it. Um, but here you actually get the beautiful space of right. being this co-op building and you also have the finishes that look so well done. Um, so it's almost like getting that new development product inside of the space of a co-op. Exactly, and although we don't technically disclose square footage, we're looking at a little over 2,000 square feet for this three bedroom, which is fairly large. I've seen mm -hmm. some fours and even tight five bedrooms done in that amount of square footage. So you really mm -hmm. do get a lot of space for a three bedroom apartment, plus that bonus staff room, plus the extra den. And who wouldn't love a walk-in shower with three different shower heads and a bench? Literally, right? nobody would not love it. Right. Yes. Shower bigger than most people's kitchens in a lot of apartments in New York City. <laughs> it's sad because it's know, true. I know. <laughs> Although I hate to finish the tour in the bathroom, that's pretty yeah. good for this apartment. Well, so maybe as we walk back, what can you tell us about the amenities of the building? So 25th Avenue is widely regarded as a white glove building, mm -hmm. service to the max, private uh, circular driveway, as well as a fitness center, residence lounge, children's playroom, on-site management, bike storage, private storage, and the building has one of the largest libraries, private libraries I've ever seen. In Wait the a lobby. second, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's in the lobby. I'm gonna check that yeah, out. Yeah, it's all based on donations, but most buildings have like that little book swap mm -hmm. in the laundry situation. This takes it to a whole nother level. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. That's how you know your neighbors are smart. They read books. Yes, <laughs> and it's really all about service in this building. Yeah. And the staff is incredible. Oh, forgot, on-site parking with a discount available to shareholders. Do you understand what that means in New York? 
discounts, parking. Those parking. two words like don't go in the same <laughs> they sentence don't ever. Go ever. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, no, this is a very, very special find. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it Matt. really is one of a kind. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's I really my appreciate it's it. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. And listen, I'm sure he would love to take us on another tour if you would like to come see this in person for yourself. Could be your next home. Thank you. My pleasure. So if you want to be in this beautiful location, why not come check out this property? And if this isn't going to work for you, why not check out one of our other home tours? As always, please reach out with any questions because we would love to get you in. Matthew is amazing. I want to spend more time with him. So help me out and come and see if this apartment is for you. Bye, guys.